Hi, my name is Case Ford here at Tulsa Welding School. I'm an instructor, and we're, today we're going to be welding the uh, 2G horizontal MIG combo plate. So after we put in the MIG route, we're going to go over it with some flux core. So before I get started, um, I had to rig up some uh, wire here to make sure our liner is nice and straight as possible. You want your liner or you want your MIG whip to be as straight as possible. That way, as the wire is coming through the liner, you have no resistance whatsoever. Because if that liner is clogged or dirty in any kind of way, you're going to have a hard time getting a nice, consistent wire feed. So as you're going along and you're welding, if it's clogged up or dirty or bent, you'll actually be able to hear it while you're welding. It'll sound like brat, 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 and that's what you don't want. You want a nice, steady bacon sound. I know that sounds crazy, but you want that good bacon, all right? So I got my machine set here at 16.7. Usually I run it at 16 volts, um, but I ran it a little hotter. That way we have good fusion on our root pass. And I got my wire speed here at 180. I got my gas here set at right at 40 CFH. Okay, so I got my plate here. It's nice and prepped. Uh, we got it all shiny. Got all the mill scale removed. And that's exactly what we want. I got my little tray here. That way, whenever I go to tack it together, my plates are nice and even. You don't want your plates to be offset whatsoever. So we're going to have about a little under an eighth of a root gap here just a little bit that way we have nice and good penetration so we're going to tack it up with a little bridge tack we're going to do our first tack and then we're going to let the plate cool and then we're going to tack the other side all right here we go all right that's our first tack wait for the tack to cool now we're going to pick up our plate and ensure that it's nice and even you really don't want to weld on plate that is actually uneven because that will actually hinder or um, mess up your root pass and that's what you don't want. So as you can see here, it's nice and even. We're ready to go. All right, going to tack up the other side now. Alrighty, so we're going to remove our little handy dandy tray here, going to put it down here. All right, so like I said, we're going to be welding this in the 2G position. The 2G position is the horizontal position. We're going to start at the left here. We're just going to work our way all the way across and get a good root pass in there. All right, let's get it tacked up. Yep, not a good one. Alrighty, our plate's nice and secure. We're up and down like we should be because you can't lean it back, you can't lean it forward. If you're gonna be out in the field, it's gotta be straight up and down because most of the time, like in the shipyards for instance, you know, your bulkheads are gonna be exactly 90 degrees. All right, so we're simply gonna weld across here. Gonna take our time, let that puddle follow us as we're coming along. If that puddle seems to hesitate, like it's about to fall through on the backside. If you give that wire just a little wiggle up and down, it'll actually stop that, you know, um, excess root penetration and it'll follow you all the way down. All right. So I'm just letting that puddle follow me as I'm going along. I'm just giving that wire just a little bit of up and down wiggle, not too much. If you wiggle that wire a little too much up and down, what will happen is it will actually do the exact opposite of what you want. It will get no penetration, and that's what you do not want. So we're wiggling it up and down just a little bit. That way we know we have good penetration. Now you don't want too much root penetration because when that happens, well, Stuff could get trapped in the uh, weld, man. 
you know, whatever process you're doing, like if it's especially on pipe, you don't want too much root, ex uh, too much root penetration. Because if that happens, then things can get caught up on that root inside that pipe, and that's what you don't want. All right, we got in a good solid root. Now we're gonna break it off and check the backside. Oh yeah. All right, that's what you want right there. A nice solid root penetration. Doesn't get any better than that. And we know we got a good solid root penetration because it's not excessive out here and it's not excessive back here. That's exactly what you want. So we got a nice root penetration here. As you can see, we don't have excessive weld out in the front and that's a good sign. That way, whenever we go to do our filling cap, we have room and, and for actual good penetration on the other side. Now on the back side here, as you can see, we got nice and solid root penetration. There's no doubt in my mind that this plate would not bend whatsoever. All right, so now that we got our root pass in, we are now ready to do our fill and cap, all right? So it's very important that you watch that wire and, where it, your, and what your puddle is actually doing. So the main goal is to stay off this bottom beveled edge here. You do not want to burn away your bottom beveled edge, especially on a horizontal position, because that's your guideline for whenever you do your cap. And if you, if you keep that bottom beveled edge, whenever you go to do your cap, it'll lay in there nice and straight as you please. No problems. All right, here we go. So now the flex core process is a little faster, but it's also hot too. You want to be mindful of where your hands are. That way you don't accidentally burn yourself. Because this, this welding process is actually very, very hot. And that's it for our first fill pass here. As you can see, the slag is peeling off and coming off very easy. And that's exactly what you want. That means you got good travel speed, the correct amount of heat, ready to rock and roll. Chip the slag off. Oh, thank you, sir. All right, so we're gonna brush off our weld here. And it's very important as you're doing this process too to make sure that you have no slag entrapment. And it looks to me like we're pretty good. You don't want no slag entrapment because if you have slag in there and you go to bend your coupon, what will actually happen is that slag will actually make that plate crack on your coupon and that's what you don't want. All right, so now we're gonna weld on the top side here and then we're gonna ensure that our, our fill pass is nice and even and, that, and then after that we're ready to cap. All right, here we go. You want to have your nozzle at a slight upward angle because we're fighting gravity. You want to go just a little bit slower on that top pass. That way it fuses in nice and good and you have the proper amount of weld deposition. Keep an eye on that puddle. Keep a nice steady pace. Don't rush it. You can't rush welding. Welding takes time, it's an art. It's like surgery, but for metal. You know, take your time. Good things come with time. Do not rush welding. All right, still got that slide peel going. That's exactly what we want, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you want. All right, so we're going to brush it off. Make sure everything is still good. Oh, yeah, we're looking great. We're looking real good. Making the money now. All right, so now we're going to start off with our first cap pass. You want to go nice and slow and you're just going to let the bottom of your puddle just roll onto that bottom edge of your bevel and that will keep it nice and straight.
Take your time. Keep an eye on your puddle. Make sure it's nice and straight. Just letting that puddle just lay on that bottom beveled edge. As you can see, we're nice and straight. Everything is going our way, and that's what you want. So now on this next pass, you want to make sure you're covering that previous bead by 50%, okay? 50%. You're going to aim your wire just at the top toe of that weld. That way you, you, you ensure that you have nice, you know, solid penetration. You got good overlap and everything. Now remember, you want to keep that wire kind of pointed at that top toe of the weld. That way you get that good 50-50 overlap. I have to cool off this plate real fast. That way we don't get any undercut on that last bead. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna run our last bead here. We may need one more, but I'm thinking likely not. But we'll give it a go, see how it turns out. You want to especially take your time on this last bead because the last thing you want is undercut on your plate. Keep an eye on that puddle. Make sure you're dumping in the right amount of metal and keep it moving. Like I said, we're taking our time here because rush, uh, you can't rush welding, man. Got to take your time. Ladies and gentlemen, I do believe that is a job well done. And that completes our 2G flux core mid root flux core filling cap. All right, guys, well, that's it. I hope you learned something today, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something today. If you would like to get some more tips and tricks and become a better welder, and subscribe to our channel. And if you would like to learn even more right now, then click on our link. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.